Ngayon, pero ang pinakaunang gusto natin gawing priority ay yung relasyon natin sa Panginoon. I remember the story of uh, there was a little, there was a man who who wanted to cross the Niagara Falls. Yung meron lubid eh. The, uh, the guy's name was, uh, ang tawag sa kanya nasa Guinness Book of World Records siya. Pangalan niya, The Great Blondine. Yung guy na yon may crowd na parang ganito kalaki. Tapos tinanong niya, sabi niya, sino sa inyo naniniwala na kaya kong i-cross yung Niagara Falls na tatawarin tong lubid na to. So lahat ng mga tao pala, parang, eh, kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan. Sigaw ko silang lahat, excited lahat. So ginawa nung guy, nag-cross siya nung, ano, ng lubid sa Niagara Falls, malaking malaking falls yan, and then bumalik siya sa Canada to, pagbalik niya, palakpakan yung mga tao. And then after that, he had another question. Sabi niya, how many of you believe that I can cross the Niagara Falls na kaya kong tawarin yung lubid sa Niagara Falls and bumalik with somebody on my back? Lahat sila sigawan, kaya mo yan, yes! Sigawan sa cheer sila ng cheer pa sa Great Blandin. Tapos, yung third question niya, sino yung maging unang volunteer ko? So, tumahimik lahat. Okay? And and I, I remember that story because I wanted to share it with you because sometimes, uh, when we talk about trusting God, lahat tayo naniniwala, yeah, naniniwala pa tayo, Lord, yeah, sigawan tayo, na we cheer for God. Pero when it comes to a point na we say, when God asks us, will you trust me enough to put your whole life in my hands, then we suddenly become quiet, tumatahimik tayo. Tapos, hindi natin talaga, hindi natin pinaniniwalaan, yung, talaga, yung iniisip natin, pinaniniwalaan talaga natin. And I, and that's my encouragement for us this this evening. Diba? And I know we're all here together today because of Sarah. Diba? We all love her and we all, you know, support her. And, and but the one short message that I want to share lang is in Proverbs chapter 3. To trust in the Lord with all our heart. Okay? And lean not on our own understandings. And, and you know, sa hirap ng buhay ngayon, we try our very best to do uh, all we can to be able to reach our goals and our dreams. Pero sabi ko dun sa proverb, not with our own understanding, but, you know, lean on Him and acknowledge Him in all our ways. Pag ginawa daw natin yun, he will direct our path. And success will be inevitable. And that's why, you know, this evening, as we, you know, just share a little bit, and uh, I'm sure later on, si Sarah will share a few, uh, you know, few of her thoughts. Um, but I, I wanted to just share lang that for all of us here today to leave this place before we leave tonight, na i-trust natin sa Lord. Sa lahat ng mga pinagdadaan natin, minsan hindi madali, pero... Pag tayo ay naniwala at nanalig at ibinigay natin ang pananampalataya sa Panginoong Jesus, then we will see Him move in our lives. So yun lang. Gusto ko lang kong i-share sa inyo yun. And uh, I wanna take a moment to pray. That's okay. Sarah, okay lang ba yun? Uh, sino ba sa inyo talagang nagmamahal kay Sarah? Di ba? Okay. So gusto natin, laging healthy. Tama ba? <laughs> Eh, di ba? Laging healthy, tsaka, you know, uh, yung career niya, tuloy-tuloy pa. And not only that, to continue to bring joy and uh, parang inspiration to all of us. Sino ba sa inyo na-inspire pag narinilid niyo kumakanta si Sarah? Di ba? Okay, so, okay. <laughs> okay ba, Sarah? <laughs> okay lang ba? Tayo ka, Sarah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, anyway, nakikisingit lang yung anak ko. Uh, anak ko yun, okay, si Janina. Alright, so, okay. Um, okay lang ba yun? Yuko lang tayo ng konti. Pray natin si Sarah.